Hi, everybody. I feel great. Do you guys all feel great? I'm really happy to be here. Here we go. So uh, I'm, I'm uh, delighted to be here. I've been hearing about this event for a couple of years, and I'm glad to finally get to go uh, to Grace Notes now. And uh, I want to talk to you tonight to introduce this project I've started working on this year called Project Alloy. First, a quick survey. Has anyone here ever had someone open a door for them? Solid. So uh, I should clarify. I don't mean that kind of door. It came through. I don't mean that one. Not that. I mean uh, more like a door of opportunity. So that's the type of door that uh, I wanted to talk to you about tonight, um, and the type of door that Project Ally is supposed to open. So the deal is, I'm here. Um, we're all here in San Francisco. That's me. Um, that's me speaking at Google I.O. earlier this year. And I was looking at this photo and reflecting and feeling very lucky to be there. My parents are immigrants. Uh, I grew up eating food because my mom made jewelry by hand. Um, and my dad was a writer. Uh, I think as a black bi woman, I feel extremely lucky to be working building flying robots in San Francisco in 2016. And I realized, I think, I'm there. I'm there, and I started thinking, I'm there because so many people opened doors in front of me up to that point. And so I started thinking about that and realizing for how lucky I am that I wanted to start to do something about that to open doors for other people also. And uh, I also felt very lucky for all the work that had been done before me leading up to this to get here and realizing that this is now possible because a lot of people worked really hard before I got here. This is terrible. <laughs> uh, I should probably tell you what Project Alloy is. I think I accidentally just skipped that part. I'm just going to go back so we can talk about that. Um, Project Alloy jumps off from my realization that a lot of good has come to my life from going to tech conferences. That's surprising, perhaps. Tech conferences aren't for everybody. And there's a lot that's been talked about, you know, what has happened that hasn't been good at tech conferences. At the same time, I know that conferences I've attended, I've met some really fantastic people, um, had fantastic conversations, um, learned a lot about my chosen field or other fields. And more than that, I think my favorite part is realize that everyone out there who's working on tech, right, is just another human being like me. And I think where I grew up, um, which I'll characterize lightly as a remote place that was kind of the middle of nowhere, um, where I didn't know anyone else who was into tech to the extent that when I was 12, my friend Chris, my one buddy who also thought computers were cool, told me that he thought it was weird, in a cool way, but weird, that I was a girl and I liked computers. And he told me that was rare. And I was 12, and I thought he was lying, because that didn't make any sense. I was like, why would that be, Chris? What are you trying to say? <laughs> so here's our mission. This is what we're trying to do. You've all read this at this point. Um, we want to, uh, Project Alloy, th we're three people now, take you know, conferences uh, where you know, it's very expensive, it's very far away, and wear down that barrier to getting there. If there's a tech conference you want to go to, you're earlier in your career and you're from an underrepresented background, we want to make sure you can go. So basically, our project is to raise money and then distribute it to people in the form of conference tickets, uh, stipend for travel, lodging and food while you're at the conference, because no one should have to you know, worry um, about you know, that sort of thing while you're trying to, to learn from other people. I feel pretty strongly about that. Uh, a side note, why are we called Alloy? Um, we thought pretty hard about our name. Um, the idea is to be something that's stronger by being a mix of uh, you know, different materials that come together as typical for an alloy. 
So we have a, a grand vision uh, I'd love to tell you a little bit more about. We don't just want to send people to conferences. I think events like this, like Grace Notes, the one we're at right now, are very powerful not just because we all sit and learn from each other, but because we all get to know each other. I think I read a cool Twitter thread about someone saying, like, it's surprising that people don't realize that roughly all of the women in tech actually do know each other. <laughs> um, so our goal is to say not just, hey, you know, we'll bring you in to that conference you want to go to, but to create a network of people who know each other and support each other and can help keep each other going in their careers going forward. Um, we want to help support people as they do get into the tech industry, because uh, I think as previous speakers noted, it's hard out there. And not just say, hey, you went to a conference that great, uh, but to keep going and to keep supporting people. We have a lot to do. Um, but prepping this talk, I was rating our to-do lists, which was like 28 pages, and I just tried to grab our like high-level topics. So I, I don't think it's going to be easy. Um, you know, we have been working on this now since February. It's October. Um, as they say, you know, progress is slow, but if you look behind you, it's incredible how far you've come. That's how it feels right now. Um, so <clears throat> if anyone wants to get involved, uh, we have a lot to do. Um, but the bright side is we've accomplished a ton that I'm really proud of and I want to shout out about that. Um, one thing that's been difficult to, f to figure out how to do, I, I had no idea about this, so quick crash course for everyone in nonprofit world uh, that I've learned as an engineer is there's this thing called fiscal sponsorship. Um, we have it now. Uh, what that is, is if you want to give a charitable tax deduction, uh, and you're not a nonprofit, another nonprofit can be your bank. And you either have to be a nonprofit or have fiscal sponsorship. Uh, so we got that now. Uh, it took a lot of work, but I'm really happy. A lot of people helped us get there. Um, we got our bank account, that was a big deal. Uh, so now uh, we're just starting to move into building out our website so that we can take donations. Um, we are working on uh, our application form. Additionally, uh, you'd think that having an application form where someone could apply to go, go to a conference who is from an underrepresented background would be like maybe on its surface straightforward, but we care a lot about getting it right. So one of our biggest topics right now is making sure we write a good, fair application that isn't going to scare people away and is crafted correctly. Um, everyone who loves to talk about this. That's a, to a hot topic. Um, and then very exciting news to me, um, we've partnered with the Strange Loop Conference. Uh, for folks who know about that, Strange Loop, Strange Loop attendees, I see some nods. Yep, I see a lot of people here. Go to Strange Loop. Uh, we hold them up as being a, a conference that has got a lot right about getting people to attend it uh, who apply for what they call an opportunity grant and then are able to attend who are from underrepresented backgrounds. We're partnering with them um, for this year, for the coming year, uh, to learn from them and to help bring their 100 grantees there. Um, so I'm very excited about that. That's us. Check us out. We have a mailing list you can sign up for if you want to help us uh, or just read about what we're doing or spread the word. Thank you very much.